Hi everybody, Jim Park here. I'm at Truck World 2022 in Toronto. We found Thermo King's Evolve customer demonstration trailer at the show. The company is putting this fully electric refrigeration system into customer hands to show fleets what it can do and to collect data from real world operations. Matt Cernick was at Truck World as well. He played a lead role in developing the system. Here's Matt to explain some of the features of the Evolve trailer. Hi, I'm Matt Cernick, lead engineer with Thermal King Corporation, and welcome to Truck World 2022. Behind me is our Evolve demonstration trailer. It's the first trailer that we've put into the market for customer demonstrations uh, of all electric transportation. Uh, it's a hybrid system, can run off battery uh, primarily, uh, but it also has a diesel backup engine for customers to run whatever profiles they may choose, uh, deep frozen, fresh, or any of our many OptiSet profiles. We're gonna show you around the trailer a little bit, uh, show some of the components and then describe some of the, uh, uh, the opportunities that we're seeing here uh, to learn about electrification, uh, learn about battery charging systems, infrastructure, and uh, how we can get, uh, get the industry ready for all electric transport refrigeration. Let's start with a walk around tour. We're going to start over here on the uh, curb side of the trailer. We're going to go take a look at the battery pack and some of the systems that are underneath the trailer. All right, we're over here on the curbside of our Evolve demonstration trailer. Uh, underneath the trailer are our battery packs, high voltage battery packs, just like you'd see in an electric vehicle. We have thermal management to keep the batteries warm or cool. We have all of our componentry for power conversion and our energy management system for battery management and safety. Uh, we also have a charging system on this, uh, on this trailer. Uh, we are charging uh, off of AC input power, so EVSE, electric vehicle supply equipment. We have an onboard charger on this vehicle. Um, in the future, we'll see DC charging as a norm, uh, but for right now, due to limitations in customer infrastructure, AC charging is the way to go. We're gonna start with the batteries. Batteries are the fuel tank for your system. Uh, in this case, we're running uh, some off-the-shelf batteries here uh, used in electric bus applications and other applications. They're tested and certified to all the proper safety standards. And the uh, main thing is that they provide all the power we need to run the electric system. There's enough capacity in these batteries to run our refrigeration system for many hours. Of course, it all depends on the ambient temperature, how many times you open the door, uh, what your set point is, uh, but we can definitely keep your ice cream frozen uh, for a full day's worth of operation. Up next is power conversion. This is where we take the high voltage DC from the batteries and convert it to AC for operation of our transport refrigeration unit. We also do other conversion in this, uh, in this box. And of course the box enclosed all of the high voltage there as you can see from the stickers. We take the AC input from the EVSC, electric vehicle supply equipment, and turn that into high voltage DC to charge the batteries. And then we also uh, convert the high voltage DC to 12 volts DC in order to power our controls uh, and other safety systems. The system has a uh, master disconnect and a master lockout uh, to disable everything uh, when the system isn't being used or when it's being serviced. And we also have uh, other systems uh, to detect when the system is not in a safe state to disable all the, uh, all the high voltage. And that's part of a basic uh, electrical vehicle system to detect both when cables are unplugged, if any of the part of the system is damaged, and to disable all the high voltage in case any of those things occur. Okay, at this point, the high voltage system is active and we're gonna start the Thermo King uh, trailer refrigeration unit. And while it's starting up, we're going to go through a little bit of the custom HMI that we developed for this project. So I've turned the refrigeration unit on. But what you can see here is for this project, we've developed a custom uh, HMI, custom interface, uh, that gives the basics of the system operation. We're able to see uh, the status of all our components, make sure they're all operating correctly. We're able to see the status of all of our thermal management. Um, proper thermal management is critical for safe and efficient operation. This includes the batteries and all the power electronics that are uh, liquid cooled, as well as monitoring the ambient temperature. 
We can also monitor our charging status. Right now we're not plugged in, so we're not charging. And of course the main HMI presents our current state of charge and what mode we're in. And we're currently discharging. And that allows for uh, the performance of the system uh, in its standard operational modes. So we're running the shore power motor uh, in this system, the same as you would if you plugged it into the grid today. And this is a standard Thermal King S600 converted uh, minimally to run off of our high voltage power system. And at this point, the, uh, the starting alarm is sounded and the electric motor will start and run. The trailer refrigeration unit is now running. It's running on AC, just like you have plugged it into the grid, but it's being converted from the 800 volts DC to 480 volts AC to run the standby motor. The sound level is significantly lower than diesel operation. On our customer demonstrations, our biggest compliment so far has been by the, by, from the drivers of the lower, uh, the lower sound level. The Thermal King Evolve demonstration trailer really provides a shared experience between Thermal King and our customers. We've completed many routes, many operating different profiles, uh, different customer operating procedures, and uh, being able to share lots of data with our customers. Through our tracking telematics and advanced data science, we've been able to provide details to the customers and details for uh, the operation of the Thermal King equipment, uh, specifically on battery power, that really will attribute to developing new technologies and optimizing, truly optimizing uh, our refrigeration equipment for uh, pure battery operation.